Greetings there fellow viewers, this is TechBizMo and welcome back to another video. And in this video everybody, I'm just going to be showing you guys my official Karor Mate uh, setup. So yeah guys, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, as you can see here, we are on my Karor desktop. Um, and you can see it looks pretty nice, at least in my opinion. Um, I've decided to kind of make these uh, these bars right here, top and bottom, both invisible. Um, so you could just see the icons and applications and everything. Uh, I still left this how it was. Um, as you can see, the uh, icons that it uses, Numix Circle. Um, you know, in my opinion, this just looks really nice. Uh, one of my friends say that it's a little bit too flat and that, um, you know, it is it is pretty flat, but not too flat for my taste. So, so yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the appearance uh, uh, area of the settings so I can just show you all of the uh, theming that I use. So... Uh, for the main theme, I use Numix, so if I go here uh, and then customize, I can show you everything. So, my controls is Numix, my window border is Numix, my icons, uh, they're supposed to be Numix Circle, but as you saw uh, earlier, I accidentally changed them. Um, so that's Numix Circle, and this is normally Breeze as well. Um, as you saw at the, be the beginning of this video. So, in my opinion, this just looks like a very nice, flat, uh, themed, uh, Karor Mate setup. Um, um, but yeah, um, so here's, you know, a couple of my folders. I've got Telegram and this is a folder. Um, and right here, you know, you, you know, you just got the, uh, normal Mate, um, menu. Um, yeah, it, it, it doesn't look that bad. And, you know, I've got, I've got this menu right here as well. Um, I can actually show you the, um, menu that I use. So, um, that, that's not it. Um, so if I go to add to panel, it's this one right here, I believe. It's it's a mate menu, so we can add another one right there. Yeah, as you can see, uh, there's another one, but we're going to remove that. Um, so yeah, that's the one that it uses. And then the one up here, I think it's main menu. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, but yeah, I think, it's, I think it might be main menu. Okay, so it looks so like some kind of main menu, but we'll, we'll see if it's, if it's a menu bar. Oh, yep, it's it's menu bar because it has, you know, the places, the system, applications, everything, and that nice little Corora logo, but we're going to remove that. Um, and also down here, I've got sort of, you know, a long little window thing, so if I go ahead and open up, like, the terminal, it opens up really fast, actually, since this is a Core i7 processor um, with a fair amount of RAM, 16 gigabytes, and an SSD, you know, you're going to get like just straight great performance out of this machine um yeah as you can see uh the close animation it's just you know straight out um and for some reason Kaden live isn't loading but i'm not using this as my uh, editing machine anyway um so if i go to this is a folder we just got my uh my logo um yeah it just looks very nice you got all the directories and stuff so yeah Oh, uh, yeah, guys, there is my complete setup. As you can see, there is the calendar and date and time as well, the battery, uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah, I need to, <laughs> as you can see, that's blocked out because it says my last name. Um, you know, volume and then microphone, OBS, all of this stuff. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, guys, that is it. I really hope you all enjoyed this little video showing you guys my complete setup in Corora Mate. See you guys. Um, as I said, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Adios. I'm, I, I don't speak Spanish.